going to be a nail tutorial. I have filmed this intro like four times now. First two times I didn't like the way I looked. Third time my thing was off. What's it called? Wait let me look. My oh ISO? ISO? It was super dark. Now now I think we're good. So let's try this one more time. So today's video is going to be a dry brush nail tutorial. It is so simple. I mean, it is like stupid easy, but you guys wanted to see it. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it. I certainly did not come up with this technique. I'm just showing you guys the way that I do it. So the polishes that I used for my base color, I used OPI. I can only wear OPI like cannoli, not can only or can only cannoli like <laughs> cannoli like a, a food source okay um this is my base color this is very similar to my boyfriend scales walls this is from the venice collection so it just came out so if you can't find my boyfriend scales walls which i would hunt to the ends of the earth for it because it's my favorite nail polish of all time but if you can't find it this will do i did put a comparison picture on instagram if you want to see the difference they're very, very similar. Um, and then for my dry brush colors, I used Julie G Cabana Boy, which is glorious. And I used SC Licorice, which is just a basic black nail polish. You can do any color combination you want. You can use a pink base. You can use a yellow base. You can, you know, whatever. This is just what I like to do. I prefer a white base and then like two colors or three colors sometimes. I don't know, I feel like if you use too many colors for the dry brush, it can get kind of messy looking and almost like muddy. You know, there's just too much going on. So I think two or three is ideal, but whatever you want to do. And then top coat is HK Girl from Glisten and Glow. As always, this is the best top coat ever. Don't come at me with no sesh beads because I will cut you. And then the cleanup brush that I use is the Ocean Nail Supply number 16 brush. This is what I use to like go around my cuticles and just clean everything up. When I am done, I will link this down below. It's very, very inexpensive and it's the best. So I think that that's pretty much all that I wanted to tell you guys. I lie. I wanted to show you how I do the dry brush just because I didn't really touch on that in the tutorial. So dry brush is pretty much just getting all of the nail polish or as much of the nail polish as you can off of the brush and then you take the brush with no polish on it and you just horizontally and vertically make little swipes on your nail now that sounds very very simple which it is but one thing I found with other tutorials they never tell you this and then when you go to do it you can kind of mess up. Did my voice just go really high there? Um, I find that even if you get like 95% of the polish off of the brush, when you go in for your first swipe, you can tend to make like a big line. There's still a lot of polish in the brush. So what I like to do, I kind of, and you'll see it in the tutorial, I like dab it really fast and very very lightly you don't want to just go in with like one big swipe as if you were painting your nail I kind of just like swipe at my nail and I find that that just gets a tiny bit of polish on your nail just at the beginning like once you kind of have a couple swipes in then you can take the whole brush because it I don't know I don't know if I'm explaining this very well but when you initially start doing the dry brush, just don't go balls to the wall. Just be very gentle on your nail so you don't get too much polish in one area. Wow. Okay, so I officially think I've rambled on enough. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. It is so simple. Anyone can do it. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. So All right, let's get our voiceover on. You guys know I love voiceovers. Can you sense my sarcasm? Okay, so base coat is down. Two coats, let it dry for like two minutes.
Then I'm going in with my first color and I'm just swiping it horizontally and vertically. But see how, well with this one, like with the blue shade, I don't, I'm not as careful to like swipe super gently. You kind of have to get a feel for the polish. Some come off of the brush really nicely and you can just kind of go, go balls crazy. But like with black, you have to be really careful. But I mean, that's all you do. Just horizontal, vertical. I kind of sped this up, but it's very, very simple. See how I got that little blob of a lot of polish? That can happen sometimes. That's why I say to be careful and just swipe very gently. But I mean, seriously, a one-armed monkey could do this. <laughs> Not saying you guys are one-armed monkeys. Okay, now we're going in with black, and I'm really, really careful with black. See how I'm just like swiping it very, very gently? Because even if you get like all of the polish off, for some reason there's still a lot of polish left on the brush. So just be careful, and that's all you do. I mean, I'm, I'm not even really needed here. It's kind of self-explanatory once you see it. And then we're going to do the same thing on the index finger. And I know it looks weird at first, like as you're doing it, you're kind of thinking, this looks like crap. But once you get it done and you top coat, it looks really cute. And then I'm going in with my cleanup brush and a little bit of acetone. I have a full video on painting nails and cleaning up. I'll link it down below. And then, oh, we're still cleaning up. Just showing you guys my technique. And then we are going in with top coat. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you. I think it looks really cute, doesn't it? Like once you top coat, it just looks so cute. Get so excited. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I think you're stuck with me again for an outro. Sorry. Love you. Bye. I told you guys, it was extremely simple. I hope you guys liked it. Um, like I said, this is not my design. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. If you try to recreate this, please tag me, tweet me, snap me. You guys know how to get in touch with me. I want to see your recreations. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. What are you guys doing this weekend? Anybody doing anything exciting? I'm going to be filming and filming. So if anyone's doing anything exciting, tell me down below so I can like live vicariously through you because I'll be here in my pajamas like a bum. My kids are going away with my mother-in-law and Tony will be watching football. So look for lots of snaps this weekend because it's just gonna be me and you. I see you. Okay, so I love you guys so much. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'm so glad that I finally got that done. I think the lighting's good. We're good. The brows are good. The lips are good. The hair is... The hair is good. The hair is good. It's kind of falling, but we okay. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Oh my, are you going to put that in? Yeah, I am. It's a good day. Oh, it's a good day. Oh, it's a good day. 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 Ow. Uh, this was supposed to be like a five-minute intro, outro, and I've been at it for an hour. What? Like, I am. Oh, I don't... That's bad to do, isn't it? It's like, like you want someone to, to do bad things here. Nether regions. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like bang, like pull. I didn't mean it like come over and have your way with me. That's not what I meant. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Why am I so freaking happy? Don't you hate people that are constantly happy? Me and my mom talk about this all the time. But if we're like out somewhere or we're driving, do you ever see people that drive with a smile on their face but nobody else is in the car with them? They're just like, it's like, why the F are you so happy? Like that just gets under my skin. And when you see people out and about and they're just, they're just happy about everything. Like don't be that happy. Do not make me cut you, because then you will not be smiling. Does that bother anyone else? I don't know, maybe I'm just a cold-hearted snake. She's a cold-hearted snake, look into his eyes. What? Oh! Tony! What? Is that you? Yeah. <gasps> I thought somebody was crawling up the side of the house to kill me. What? I just took the garbage out. I thought somebody was crawling up the, the house to get me. Huh? Never mind.
make her like a little Parisian girl. I'm so edgy. So, I mean, you can use as many colors as you want. You can use four, you can use five, seven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, seventy, sixty, forty, six, one, two, zero. Don't do it. I